Included in the updates to RESA 3D version 18 are new improvements to member design verification through the addition of an expandable detailed reports for all member types and materials. One of the main issues that all engineers face with any software that they use is that it's difficult to verify code check results. With RESA 3D version 18, that issue is no more. So here we have a mostly steel frame structure. We have a concrete uh, shear wall. And then we have a shed framed uh, wood roof with a glue lamb beam. And so we're going to use some of these different materials and members to look at those detailed reports. Now our results are already run. We've already run our analysis. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn off my rendering. And we can see the color coding for our Unity check. And so we can see that uh, we don't have any Unity check problems. Everything is passing. Um, but we can now go ahead and use the detailed reports. And so if I click on the results tab, uh, we'll see the detailed reports button here. I can also see the detailed reports on the uh, individual 3D view screen. So if I go ahead and click the detailed reports button, I can go ahead and then select a member. So I'm first going to go ahead and select this glue lamb beam. So because the results open up in a separate window, I can actually go ahead and dock the report uh, to then be able to see the 3D view or the graphical view uh, at the same time as our detailed report. Now, when looking at the detailed report for this glue lamb member, we can see the input data, the material properties, the shape properties. We can also see diagrams. So if I go ahead and click on one of the diagrams, we can see that they are fully expandable. We can go ahead and actually see all of the kind of detail of the diaphragm. We could also go ahead and enter in a specific location to go ahead and, and see what the, uh, what the values are. We can go ahead and, and use our, uh, our kind of scroll bar here or uh, on the graph to see what the actual values are at a, at a given location. Uh, and we can go ahead and just right in this interface switch out uh, to a different internal force or result. When we scroll down a little further, we see all of the code check uh, limit states. Now, the great thing about this is that these are all expandable. So if we go ahead to look at maybe this bending and axial tension analysis and click to expand that, we can see all the detail uh, with every equation filled out uh, for exactly how the check is being done. And so we can see the reference here. So table 5A, 5B, 5C, and 5D from the uh, NDS standard. We can also see uh, the, the description of, of what we're looking at which all leads us to the unity check that is the controlling unity check for this particular uh, member in this particular uh, limit state. So if I go ahead and close this, I can also look at 1D member unity checks for say steel members. So if I go ahead and look at a steel member, let's go ahead and choose maybe this HSS member. So this is gonna be an HSS column. We're gonna get a very similar layout to what we saw in the glue lamb member design, but obviously some various different limit states and information that's provided. We can click to open the controlling limit state, in this case the bending and axial interaction check, to see all the values that went into this particular check and our controlling unity. The other really nice thing about this is if we look back in the top here, I really do like the design properties. So this tells us exactly um, what the unbraced lengths are in this case. So 30 feet in the strong and the weak axis, um, you know, in this case, we're looking at this column as a full length column. So we're not even using any of the unbraced lengths at the individual floors. We could go ahead and use the segment command to do that if we wanted to, but there's really no confusion about what Risa 3D is using to calculate the unbraced lengths and therefore uh, using those unbraced lengths and limit states because they're listed uh, explicitly here. Now, the last thing I wanted to look at is this detailed reports, these uh, expanded detail reports are not just for 1D members, but also uh, for 2D members or wall panels as well. So if I go ahead and select the concrete shear wall, we can go ahead and look at this wall panel four, uh, which has our door openings in it. Um, see a little detail of the wall panel itself and the input data, the material properties and the geometry, and then see all the kind of summary results. And so in the enveloped results, for instance, uh, we can open up the max in-plane unity checks or out-of-plane unity checks, basically just a list of each individual region and uh, their corresponding unity check. So that gives us a little summary, but if we go a little bit deeper, we can check um, you know, a specific region and look at the results of that specific region. So when the region opens here, we can see the uh, descriptions. So let's make this window a bit bigger. 
So when the region opens here, we can go ahead and see our kind of uh, our internal force plots. We can see all the criteria for this region. And then we can see each and every unity check that goes along with this. So let's look at our axial and bending details. And we can see the information here uh, listed a little differently, but still enough information for you to determine exactly what's going on. Uh, we can also see the reinforcement details that are provided for this particular case. Um, all the information filled in, filled out, so there's no kind of confusion about what's going on here. One of the other options here is uh, we can open up the options tab to, and this is for any detailed report, be able to see kind of what's our custom setup or what setup do we want to use um, each and every time we look at a specific detailed report. Do we want it to be the summary data or do we want more custom information where we want all the code checks expanded or we don't do or don't want to include material properties or wall properties. Whenever we choose this, we can go ahead and set this as the default and then that will remain the default uh, for this particular member. Finally, if we close out of the detailed report, we can open up the design results spreadsheet and we can launch any of the detailed reports directly from the spreadsheet by either right clicking and selecting detailed report or by clicking the button in the results tab to open up the detailed report. For more information about RISA 3D version 18, please visit risa.com.